Good morning, David Cote of Urban Astro. And um, this morning I'm going to do a semi unboxing. I've already actually unboxed it to make sure that everything came um, good. Um, but I'm going to unbox a new telescope. Now, I've been using this uh, SV Boney uh, 80 millimeter scope here. It has uh, ED glass. It's an FPL 51 with Lantham. Um, I believe it's a crown glass uh, Lantham. Um, and I may be mispronunciating that. I'm not really, really sure. Uh, it has a focal length of 560 millimeters, which is great for getting some of those large um, deep space objects. But I wanted to get something with a little bit more reach so that I can practice with and play with and uh, end up hopefully taking some great shots and while I'm shooting with that because well galaxy season's coming up uh, in the spring and so I need some run time so that I understand how to use the scope it's taken me about a year to figure out how to get some good shots out of this thing now it's not the most perfect scope um, it was relatively inexpensive it's a great first beginner scope and I'll probably will end up replacing it with something a little bit um, better quality. Um, but I figured that the Richie Creighton, which has, uh, it's a six inch and has a focal length of uh, 1370, should be able to get me some fairly decent um, galaxies this coming spring. And so I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to put on a new ADM dovetail bar something a little bit more substantial than the Vixen bar that comes with it. And so, come along. Hi, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Um, and today I'm going to do a kind of an unboxing, if you will, of this Richie Creighton 6 inch. I've already technically have unboxed it because I wanted to check to make sure that everything came um, in a good condition and was not broken. Um, so that way I wouldn't have to send it back. And I really have been waiting. I got this like, I don't know, almost a month ago. And I've been patiently waiting because I've been waiting for, um, oh, let me move all these stuff here. Waiting for a new uh, dovetail plate from ADM, which I received last night. So I figured I would do this video today. And what my, oops, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, unbox this beast and then I'm going to remove the existing Vixen uh, plate and put on this um, Las Mandy plate and then put the Vixen plate on the top of the scope so that I can mount things like finder scope and things of that particular no things of that particular nature so um, let's go ahead So I had seen on YouTube, as probably most of you have, um, unboxing videos of these um, kind of telescopes. And it's really kind of interesting because when you first look in, uh, you get this white uh, piece here that protects it. And there are two sets of rings which come with it. And these are rings, which I haven't really opened up yet, that allow you to achieve your proper distance for focusing. And so here's the first ring. Uh, I 
believe this is like the 50 millimeter ring or something like that. I'd have to go back and check. I'm just gonna set that down right there. And then this I think has two 25 millimeter rings, if I remember right. Which are joined together. Like so. And these go, you basically, how this setup works, from what I can tell, because there's no instruction manual that comes with this. You just kind of, here's the scope, here's the extension rings, have a good day, kind of thing. Um, so from what I can tell is basically you remove the focuser, you add these rings on so that you can get the proper um, focal length for the particular scope. And I think I read somewhere that for this particular scope, it's like 235 millimeters or something crazy like that from the back of the scope that you have to come out. So these screw on like that. You screw these on the back, your focuser is here, and away you go. Again, I'm going to have to explore that to see just exactly what um, my distance needs to be for, from the focuser. So anyways, those two sets of rings come on the top. But then like I said, there's no manual or anything. It's just the telescope wrapped up in plastic. So here it is. Let me remove this box. Plastic cover. Sorry if that's loud, but there she is. Um, third Planet Optics, six inch, Richie Crate. So here's my uh, t uh, TPO Third Planet Optics, uh, six inch uh, F9 Richie Crate um, OTA, which I bought off of um, OPT. And uh, right now it's not available, which I find kind of humorous. Things come in and they come out of, you know, availability like crazy. Uh, and you can see here, the basic things here is that it's got no chromatic aberration. It's coma free, so you don't have the same issues that you do with the Newtonian. Uh, the primary um, is fixed, so you don't get the mirror flop that you do with the uh, Schmidt Kaskerens. Um, if you're used to a Newtonian, the front end looks just like you would on a Newtonian. It's got veins and it's got a center uh, mirror. Uh, the mirror, I believe, is spherical. It might be prevalent, but I think it's spherical. So that basically the light comes in, bounces off of the mirror here in the back, is focused up onto the secondary which then bounces back down and goes out through the focuser. If that makes any sense. And it's got a knife edge baff, uh, baffling system and it's got a long back focus of 230 millimeters which is a lot. So there it is on the site here. Back to the unboxing. With a focal length of 1370 millimeters and I have actually a Star Arizona flattener for this guy, which will bring me down to about 890 millimeters um, if I don't want to shoot it at the full uh, 1370. The scope I think weighs something like 12 pounds, something in that particular neighborhood. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna take this right here and put this on the top and then put this Los uh, Mandy bar, I mean, yeah, here on the bottom. So that way I got a more stable uh, mounting platform with these gorgeous rings, which fit perfect. And so that's what I'm gonna do. First, it's really kind of interesting. I've never seen the setup like this, but basically it has M90 
fitting back here. And you're able to unscrew the uh, focuser, which is a Crayford focuser, by, th by the way. But because I have um, camera and a filter wheel and a rotator, um, I've opted to pick up a rack and pinion focuser so that way I can better control the focusing because um, I love Crayfords. I used them when I was doing a visual with my home built Newt and uh, they were just absolutely wonderful for that particular application but I think that for this one here I would want something a little bit more stable, uh, something that I can better control the focus um, and we reduce the amount of slippage and so I've ordered that. But basically, these rings go on to the back, kind of like so. And then your focuser goes on like so. Now, you'll find that a lot of these, and I myself picked one up, this ends up making the scope very, very back heavy. You can tell that uh, with all this with all this weight here, you've got your scope here, you've got your mirror sitting right here, uh, you've got your front element sitting right in here, and then you've got your imaging train <laughs> sitting back here. The scope is generally going to tend to be back heavy. And so I got an additional um, weight that basically is going to clamp onto the front of this guy here. I'll just slide it on and clamp it on. And it's a weight. And you'll often will see these scopes with that kind of a setup. It's just to help balance it out because you got so much weight sitting out here and yet your dovetail bar is like right here. And you got a large part of your weight sitting here. It's really hard to get these things um, balanced. And so they have these clamp-on weight systems. Um, ADM sells one, and that's what I'm putting on here. Um, it's a clamp system. It just basically clamps on, and then it has big old weight on the front. I don't know. I'd have to see how much the weight weighs, but it's pretty substantial in terms of weight. But I'm going to need that in order to offset my imaging train, which is going to go here. So. Well, hi there, guys. Um, unfortunately, uh, when I was putting the video together, I realized that um, it was going to go on for like 30 some odd minutes, and so I had to cut it down. And so basically, this video is just going to be just the unboxing. And I'm going to have for the next video um, putting on the uh, plates and changing those around. In fact, that will be um, RC modification video part one. And then when I get the focuser from Telescope Services from Germany, I will um, bring out the focuser and the uh, electronic automatic focusing from ZWO and install that puppy on and talk about uh, the Telescope Services uh, focuser. So for this video, it's just the unboxing and a general discussion on the Richie Creighton. So I apologize if you were looking forward to me uh, putting on uh, plates. That will be the next video. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, if you enjoy content like this or want more content like this, just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and click the little bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So until then, uh, clear skies. Thanks and goodbye.